Right, let's get straight to it. How are the nerves, England fans? We have every angle covered for you right here on Sky Sports News. Now, we're going to cross to Gary Cottrell shortly. He's at the Denmark's base spying for us. First, though, let's get to England's team hotel in Hertfordshire, where our chief reporter, Brian Swanson, is keeping an eye on things there. Brian, uh, nice to see you again. Just five hours until kickoff. Just give us an idea, put into words the magnitude of this game this evening. Well, Mike, this is huge. England have been here before. They've been to a semi-finals, but particularly when it comes to the European Championships, they've not then gone on to that next stage and reached the final. So Gareth Southgate is well aware of just how significant a moment this is going to be. Thankfully, the sunshine is finally emerging here over what is a very picturesque retreat up in Hertfordshire. It's only about a 30-40 minute transfer down to Wembley Stadium, but it will feel a world away from the noise and the excitement excitement levels that you will be experiencing over at Wembley, I'm sure. In terms of the players today, they had a late breakfast. They were up late last night watching the first semi-final, watching that dramatic penalty shootout win for Italy. And uh, after that late breakfast, they then went for a stroll, a private stroll within the grounds here of this complex, away from the cameras and away from a couple of fans who we have seen, because this uh, is a vast area up here. It's not exclusively used by the England team, so there are other hotel guests who are free to roam around the premises, uh, nobody's stopping them, but clearly they can't come into any contact with the players who within themselves are operating within a bubble. So after lunch, Mike, they are then resting. They are resting and relaxing before getting on that bus and the escort down to Wembley, which should take just over half an hour. And then finally, the talking will stop and they will kick off their big, big semi-final against Denmark. Well, if they're resting, they're no doubt watching Sky Sports News. So come on, boys, bring it home for us. Uh, Brian, um, uh, you said they're away from the cameras when they went for a stroll. But did you have a peek and did they look confident? Nope. The security is too good for that, Mike. But yes, they are confident. Hearing from Harry Kane yesterday in the pre-match news conference, he knows that England expects. Look at what they've done so far in this competition. Four wins, a draw. They haven't conceded a goal. Six goals in their last two games. But if the supporters are beginning to look at the final, if the supporters are talking about the possibility of that Wembley final on Sunday, the players aren't. That's something that Southgate has drilled into them. He only wants them talking about this game against Denmark. He knows the tough task that they're going to face this evening, particularly given all the emotion attached to this Danish side and the extraordinary efforts they've had to go through since such an unsettling start, uh, particularly around Christian Eriksen and what happened to him and thankfully his recovery. So yes, the players are relaxed. They are trying to keep things the same. They are not doing anything differently with the exception of the walk in private. We did see them out, I think it was in, um, in previous games. Uh, they were at the Lords, I think, from memory. So it, it, they're trying to keep that consistency there. Cool, calm, composure. They are the buzzwords here at the England Team Hotel. Like that. Brian, thank you very much. Brian with England then. So Denmark stands in the way of England and the first major final since 1966. Gary Cottrell skulking in the bushes at Denmark's team base at Tottenham's <laughs> training ground. Uh, Gary, hello again. How do they see the Denmark players? Well, the same. I think even more so is what Brian just said. Cool, calm, collected and very comfortable and confident as well here at the Spurs training ground. There are some mind games that uh, they can be playing the head coach, Kasper Hulman, and he'd be silly as a head coach not to because they've given to him really on a plate. Look, if we just do a little pan along here outside the Tottenham training ground, which is the base for the Denmark team, they're inside behind me. And by the way, they are watching Sky Sports News because every single room in the lodge, the five star lodge, has Sky Sports News virtually beamed in on a 24 hour basis and they're seeing that England are at home and England have got all the pressure on them, all the noise, all the colour in the build-up to this game, all the coverage on the television, in the papers, on the radio, all England expects a cold stream of guards. Ben Stokes, three lives, it's coming home. All that. England now 
really are the hot, hot favourites as far as they're concerned because there's getting no coverage whatsoever. None of the Danish crews here, for example, to pile any pressure on to them. And of course, come kickoff in front of 60,000 fans, most of them partisan, it will be even more the case. So, yes, that's a mind game that the team are using. We're here, we're confident, but we're not overconfident. We just know what we can do because we've done it. The other mind game, given to them on a plate, and of course, needs to be used carefully, but is certainly being used, is all the Christian Eriksen scenario, you, the fact that Christian Eriksen is with them. Would they, would they be a better team with him on the pitch? Probably, yes, but what about his influence now that he's not on the pitch because of what happened? That 12th man, they say that he's given them wings. He's responsible for that run of, what, three games, three wins, ten goals. Yesterday, the, the head coach alluded to it. He said that uh, Christian is still with us all the way. We feel his presence here at the training ground. It was his training ground. It was, of course, for quite a while. And we feel his presence on the pitch at Wembley. It was his pitch. It was his pitch, of course, while playing for Spurs for quite a while. So, yes, they're confident. They're seeing all the fuss around England and they believe that the wings they've grown since that terrible start to the tournament will carry them to the final. Indeed. Um, Kasper Schmeichel had that little pop at England, which I have to say I absolutely loved. Uh, but I gather there's been a message from his dad as well. What, what's his dad said? Yeah, Dad Peter, obviously a very, very proud day and a winner of this competition, of course, in 1992, has tweeted. Other uh, social media is available, but this is the tweet. He's wishing his, uh, the current day team good luck, saying he's excited, including a picture of him and a young Casper on what looks like the team coach of that Danish side back in 1992. Casper was five and a half years old then, uh, and he was asked yesterday whether or not he speaks to his dad all the time about that amazing achievement. And he says, no, I've never spoke to him and he's never spoken to me about it. He says, why should I? I was there. He hopes to be at another final, of course, in about, what, three or four days time. Yeah, steady on there, Gary. Uh, Gary Cottrell with the Denmark team. Thanks very much. And before that, Brian Swanson with England. Thank you. Well, Gareth Southgate is excited about the prospect of England's men reaching a first European Championship final. He, of course, played in England's last semi-final back in 1996. Won't thank me for this. Yep, he missed that penalty as we went down to Germany. It's not about uh, what it is for me. It's about what it is for the players, all of the staff and, um, and for our country. So um, we... Uh, don't have as good a football history as uh, we, we like to believe sometimes and um, these players are, are making massive strides and breaking barriers all the time. We've broken barriers in this tournament and we have another opportunity to do that. We've never been to a, uh, a European Championship final so we can be the first which is really exciting for everybody. I mean we've had expectation during the whole tournament, I think we've dealt with that really well in the opening game, for example, and uh, in the game with Germany. But we've never been to a final, so the pressure is what you choose it to be, really. I think it's a motivating thing, it's a challenge for us. If we were a country that had won five titles and you know we, we had to match what had gone before, it might feel differently, but um, we're not. Um, Denmark have won it, so maybe there's more pressure on Denmark. It's about performing on, on the match days and um, obviously there's a lot of talk going into this semi-final and uh, it's a chance for us to obviously go one step further than what we did in Russia in 2018 so it's a great opportunity for us to, to go and uh, go and achieve that. The squad's probably more experienced than what it was back in 2018 so it's a chance for us to, to go out there and prove it. We can obviously talk as much as we want but the bottom line is we've got to go out there and perform and yeah we've got to go and be free and enjoy it but of course have a real focus on, on um, trying to get through to the final. Now we spoke to England's most capped player Farah Williams earlier now she believes that Jaden Sancho will understand Gareth Southgate's decision to recall Bukayo Saka if that is the case tonight. Williams thinks that should be the only change from that victory over Ukraine. For me I think Gareth Southgate will, will keep the same team if any changes, their potential could be a change with Saka and Sancho. But I, I can't see him changing much more. And I think the performance was fantastic. I think starting certainly with a with a four three three is what you know I would see Gareth starting with, and then potentially you know in game could change our tactics. You know depending on what what Denmark are bringing. Of course he he'll feel hard done by. But I think 
you know, everybody trusts Southgate. I think the players buy into what Southgate's doing. If he feels Saka's going to bring, you know, that, that edge that we need in this game to progress to the final, then, then Sancho, I'm sure, will be understanding of that. You look at this England squad, it's probably the most exciting, certainly of my time as, as a fan, uh, with, with, with the excitement we have in our attack. I think Southgate knows these players better than any of us. He knows them more on a personal level and he knows, you know, what, what their strengths and weaknesses are. I think it'll be a tight game. I think it'll be a game that England win. I think, you know, narrowly win, maybe 1-0 one, one is what I'm expecting. We'll take that, Farah. Now, whisper it quietly, if you can be quiet with this lot. But former Denmark international Peter Lovenkrantz had England as favourites at the start of the tournament. Fair to say he's had a bit of a change of mind, though. They'll be very confident you know, going into the game. You know, you need to be in a game like this, in the semi-final of the Euros, you know, you need to be able to go and with a mindset that, that you think you can get get the result to, to win it. Of course you will. You're not going to go and be defeated already. So I think it's important that they get themselves ready for it, not for it. And they will have a chance, 100%. If they go out and play the way they've done previous in a couple of games before it, you know, they have a good chance of surprising uh, England again and getting a good result but England has a very very good strong team not conceding any goals so you know they're very tough to break down and, and have played very good and the quality of players they have even on the bench to come on to change the game is is, is phenomenal you know they've got a great squad so it's going to be a very tough one uh, for Denmark tonight England of course for me was the favourite before the tournament even started was one of the favourites um, and they will be again tonight but Denmark you know I mean at that course maybe can go and surprise a few people